Ladies and gentlemen, now today we're back for round two on the Hercules and Overseer Maestro Cavalier Crystals. And I was having a little bit of a think about this, thinking about would I rather best case scenario as the side champion pull a six star version of America Chavez or awaken my six star version of the Overseer Maestro. And I thought for the flex man, we go in for like an additional round on these crystals because Overseer Maestro, he does have his problems, but he's not like quite as bad as America Chavez because I was so disappointed in that character match. He's very, very underwhelming. But overall today, that absolute jackpot champion is still the six-star version of Hercules or maybe if we're very, very, very lucky, a six-star version of Doctor Doom. But we got $400 worth of crystals, man, so hopefully we can see a little bit of luck today. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into today's crystal opening after a word from our sponsors. I was reading the newspaper this morning which I totally do. And it said that nine out of 10 doctors agree that if you're not playing Raid Shadow Legends, you're actually living your worst possible life. And they've written this in the doctor books that doctors write stuff in. And according to many pages that I follow on Instagram, living your worst life is actually a really bad thing. So you've got to do something about it, pal. You know, have you slayed the Ice Golem yet? Have you ascended the Doom Tower or fought millions of players in arena pvp well if not it's time to sort your life out right now did you know that over 76 million people have played raid that's almost four times the population of new york but raid is played all over the world in 195 countries and over 12.5 billion hours have been sunk into the game and that's almost 1.5 million years or enough time to travel to mars and back over 1 million times and did you know over 35.5 billion battles have been fought that's more than 8.5 billion arena battles and 8.5 billion arena medals have been won some crazy stats for raid and they really are just getting started so this month raid has got a non-stop schedule of summer events and activities we're talking special fusion events to get brand new legendary champions tournaments against other players and much more They've also released five amazing new champions, and each of them looks incredible. Raid summer plans are just starting to heat up, and there are some giant updates coming very, very soon. So there's never been a better time to jump in and get started. So if you're ready to jump into the action, and you want to kickstart your adventure with a free epic champion from the brand new Shadowkin faction, who's absolutely amazing for the Doom Tower, all you need to do is head over to the video description, and there you'll find a link to download Raid Shadow Legends for free and if you click that link and install the game you're going to be able to claim your free epic champion if you go to the main town hall area and in the top right hand corner you want to open up the treasure trove. There you're going to find your free epic champion, 200,000 silver, an ancient shard, an energy refill and a full day XP booster. Thanks once again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring the channel and if you do want to check it out download links can be found in the description and you can download load for free. Massive love once again to Raid Shadow Legends for keeping your boy in business. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the crystals. So we're going to spin out 20 today and then rapid pot 15 and then probably spin out the final five as well. I think that's how we're going to do it today. Because uh, yeah, uh, we did a massive 100 Cavalier Crystal opening toward the end of last week. Uh, had a very good start, man. We awakened Psylocke. We got six star hit monkey. And then it was very, very dead for like seven crystals but then we awakened six star ant man so it was uh, an all right ending there uh but first crystal today is gonna be a five star version of black panther civil war uh so yeah hopefully this guy is gonna get a buff at some point in the near future uh but that is like double six star shards there so it's not a bad start but again, we are looking for those six-star champions. The Hercules is already being teased a fair bit in the real man. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what we land on today. If we get a couple of six stars as well, that'd be a very good time. Like Stealth Suit Spidey, Human Torch, Mortal Abomination, Spider Ham. Some of the big ones we're going for. We're looking for a lot of like uh, those solid god tier, beyond god tier science champions. So yeah, if we can have a little bit of luck on one of those, man, that would also be a very, very good time. But Hercules or Doom as well. There are a lot of uh, potentially big jackpots today. But let's have a little bit of a look. And it's going to be a three-star version of Miles Morales. So 
Yeah, not too chuffed about that one, lads. It hasn't been the uh, the most amazing start. I mean, getting a five star of the first crystal is always nice, but you know, let's let's have a bit of a look. <laughs> I do remember uh, openings on the old drop rate where we just get like, what is it, ten three star champions or four star to start. So by those standards, it has been a pretty good start, and that's going to be a five star version of Captain America Classic. Okay, to be fair, man, you know, we got 50% five-star ratio. Currently not the best five stars out there, I've got to be honest. But um, at least we're getting those six-star shards as the uh, the small silver line that we can cling on to. And let's have a bit of a look here. And that is going to be a five-star version of Guillotine 2099. The five-star ratio is off the charts today, man. We're actually doing really, really well. So that brings her up to 140 there. Cap is 120. Uh, so yeah, we got a lot of characters. I, I think about half the five-star roster is Sig 200 now, but the other half is uh, like 100 and rising. I think there's a few characters like five-star group. They're like 40, 60. Uh, but there's only a couple of characters, many like newer ones that are kind of below uh, Sig 100 in all fairness. And that's going to be a three-star version of Hella there. Hmm. Yeah, not too fussed about that. I really wish for Summer of Pain, uh, you could bring in, like, the Odin synergy for Hella, man. I was thinking, like, how good Hella would be. Uh, earlier this week, the Hydro Adaptoid, if you, I could just bring in the Odin synergy, because <laughs> we could, like, get him down in, like, uh, 10 hits or something. After charging heavies, it'd be so much fun. But yeah, I actually took my Hella up to rank 5 uh, recently because I had some, uh, what is it, tier 5 and tier 2 alpha expiring from the uh, uh, the 4th of July sale. So yeah, Hella is now rank 5 on my account actually. So we've got to find some cool, uh, cool uses for her in the future. Let's have a little bit of a look here, mate. And it's going to be... Oh, dude, I thought that was going to be a six-star Black Widow roll over there. That would have been amazing. Uh, but it's going to be a three-star version of Silver Surfer. Uh, I actually... I really enjoyed uh, the Black Widow movie. No spoilers or anything. But, like, before it, I was hearing a lot of people... Um, uh, slag it off a fair bit. But I, I personally really enjoyed it, man. I thought it was a really, really good time. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be a four-star version of Hercules there. Um, I, I guess we'll take it. You know, it's the right character. A couple more stars on that fellow would, uh, would, would always be greatly appreciated, though. But come on, lads. This is crystal number 10. To be fair, the five-star ratio has been banging, and it's gonna be a three-star Hercules. Actually, I was saying that I wouldn't mind a three-star Hercules for some, like, cheesy content as well, because that cheat death ability is so, so good. Um, so yeah, overall, that was all right for a stack of 10. We got three five-star champions there, but again, it is those six-star champions we are after on the big old blubbery whale account. So let's have a, a bit of a look here. Oh, God. That six-star Aegon always looks so damn good in the real, man. We already we already have him awakened. I put a lot of six stones into him as well. We used him for the uh, the Grandmaster's Gauntlet. He was crazy OP for the Grandmaster's Gauntlet, man. Like, stupidly, stupidly good. I put that... Um, uh, challenge off for a bit too long because I was, I was worried that like I didn't have the skills to do it And then we just blasted through it man. It was fantastic But I think it's like mainly Aegon that carried me but we had some good fights man We had some good moments on that live stream. I really enjoyed it and that's gonna be a three-star version of the overseer so uh, Yeah, it's uh, it's character in a crystal and uh, not the one we wanted man not the one we wanted Come on, mate. Six-star Hercules. Let's see the man. And it's going to be a three-star version of Stealth Suit Spider-Man. That is true, actually. We could potentially be getting um uh, two new Spider-Verse characters next month. I'm actually really, really excited for the potential of another Spider-Man, to be fair. I know there's, like, so many in the game. Uh, but, you know, it's been, I think, like, a couple of years now since we got Stealth Spidey. Uh, has it been, like, two or three years? I feel like it might have been three. No, no, no. It definitely has been two years since Stealth Spidey. I'm just trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to reference it because time is all, like, clumped up with the whole, like, uh, global pandemic thing, you know. Lost track of it a while ago. But, yeah, I think it's uh, two and a bit years since Stealth Spidey. Because I think, uh, what is it, Far From Home came out start of July? 
Uh, at least to the best of my memory. <laughs> so yeah, it would have been 25 months. But also if you like include Spider-Ham as a Spider-Man. I think like Spider-Ham's like very different in terms of the way that he's played. But he technically is a Spider-Man as well. So it depends how you want to look at it. But I'm, I'm big Simba for Spider-Man. So yeah, I'm really excited by the potential of Spider-Man 2099. And I'm curious to see what the moves and abilities are going to look like in game. Because he's like a, a very different Spider-Man at least to the... um. Uh, the best of my limited understanding. Uh, but yeah, dude, hopefully next month is going to be a banger of a month. We're actually really, really close to it now. So yeah, not too much longer, but let's have a look. What are we going to be landing on? And it's going to be a... Another five-star version of Hercules! Okay, <laughs> we will happily take that. So we actually got two copies of five-star Hercules in the very first uh, round of uh, Cavaliers. So that's really good. Again, we need like as many dupe levels on Hercules as possible because it extends the immortality duration. Um, but ideally, we get that six-star version. But if we don't get the six-star version, you know, that's 20 more levels on the five-star. 20 less six stones I've got to pump in there. So that's a good time. But if I don't get the six-star one on the Cavalier Crystal opening a little bit later this week, man, uh, I'm just going to bite the bullet and rank five uh, five-star Hercules. But let's have a little bit of a look. And it's going to be a three-star version of Rhino there. I remember when I first started playing this game, um, it was like three, four months in. I only grinded for one arena champion before I quit for like a year and picked up the game again. And that was three-star Rhino. And I remember it took up all of my weekend. Uh, and then he sucked. <laughs> oh, fun times, man. Uh, but hey, that is going to be a five-star version of Ebony Moor. Uh, so overall, we got Hercules and Ebony Moor. I mean, the five-star ratio has been really good so far. It hasn't been bad at all, man. But again, no six-star champions yet. I think we're getting close to being uh, due a six-star champion now. Uh, so let's have a little bit of a look. Um, right, we're going to pop five here, and we are going to be getting a five-star version of Yellow Jacket. Not quite what we're after there, I must admit. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's crack on, shall we? Again, the Yellow Jacket buff, like, it just could have used with a little bit more damage, but its heal reversal was really, really nice. But the damage and power sting were very lacking in comparison to, um, uh, Spider-Ham. But let's, let's have a bit of a look. Come on, man. And that's going to be... <gasps> yes, man! Yes! A six-star version of Hercules! Let's go! Fantastic, man. That is so, so good. That is absolutely ridiculous. We also got a five-star version of Sentry and Kamala Khan. Very iconic meme duo there. Oh, my God, dude. That is absolutely... Amazing. That is so, so good. Um, yeah, I I must admit I wasn't I wasn't expecting that, but that is a very, very, very welcome surprise. <laughs> Oh my dude, I can't believe we just got him like that. That is that is incredible. We still got uh ten crystals left to go as well. So let's uh let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go for another five pop. It, it could happen today. I think the odds are very, 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 <laughs> very low. Uh but yeah, let's uh Let's go for a cheeky little five pop, and it's going to be a six-star Nexus Crystal. Let's go. That is fantastic, man. Well, what a, what a crazy back-to-back uh, -back five there. That was, that's, that's mad. Oh, okay. what what could be in that Nexus? Oh, there's there could be a lot of good stuff in that Nexus, man. Um, Yeah, wow. Uh, okay, okay. I think, uh, what are we going to do? Oh, should we? Uh, I think we go for another. The five pops have been too good. You know, I think we got to go for another one. We got a Nexus to spin out as well. So let's um go for the final five pop. And then we got Celebration Station Nexus Crystal. But let's have a look, man. So the final five Hercules Cavalier Crystals. We are getting. Oh my god, yes, man! We awakened Hercules! No way! Oh my, yes, let's go! That is amazing! Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> oh, boys, I am having a great day, man. Wow. Um, yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> oh my god, dude, what? That's, that's mad. That's so mad. 
<laughs> I'm sat here in disbelief, man. I just, I can't believe that happened. Okay, right. We got the six-star Nexus crystal. Let's go for it, boys. Let's go for it. Okay, the six-star Nexus. We got a choice today of... Modok, Luke Cage, or Mephisto. Okay, dude. I think <laughs> I thought after that we we might go into a doom, but I think I probably would have died if that happened. But it's got to be the blue jean boy, Luke Cage. There. Oh my god, dude. Oh, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got a six star Hercules and awakened him and got a six star Nexus. I don't even know, man. <laughs> that was like the craziest, <laughs> like, triple five pop ever. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's Crystal Opening video. And if you did enjoy it, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.